Welcome back to Exotic Art Play Place, everybody. Thanks for joining in on this beautiful snowy morning. And in the midst of this crisis, this worldwide crisis where people are often scared or insecure about where they spend their money, rightfully so, of course, everybody wants to make sure that their money is getting stretched to the fullest and that they're not wasting it. So today we're going to share with you guys five of the best luxury car buys in 2020 that will likely minimize your losses down the road. Let's get into it now. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Mark with Exotic Car Play Place. And this is the brand new 2020 BMW M240i. Absolutely beautiful car. Comes featured with the B58 engines, the turbocharged six cylinder, three liter engine that's also featured in the Toyota Supra, as well as many of the other lineups. You'll find them in X3s, X5s. You'll find them throughout the lineups. Three and four series will also have that 40 designation which is a turbocharged engine that makes about 335 to about 385 horsepower depending on the state of tune and which vehicle it's in. This car here, because it's a smaller, lightweight car, has less, less complexity and of course, as a result, it's likely more dependable. Because of its relatively low buy-in price at $46,000 US as well, it becomes quite a bit better value. And these are the cars that often sell better as a used car on the used car market. And therefore, the prices tend to stay a little higher for the second and third owners buying into these cars. They are popular, they're dependable, they're fast. And quite honestly, they're very attractive too. These cars have some great features on them. Like you can get the little wing on the back. You've got this beautiful carbon fiber wrapped exhaust system, slick wheels and performance badging throughout carbon fiber mirrors as well. I love the front look of that front spoiler here. A beautiful car. You get 95% of the M2 competition features without having to pay the full price of admission. Perfect BMW for strap times. And the next car on my list is the Lexus ES350. I would say don't go hybrid. Definitely go with the normally aspirated like you have here. It's a six pot, 3.5 liter V6 engine that makes about 302 brake horsepower. All of this power comes at a mere $40,000 US as a base MSRP. If you need a car, this is great value because in three years, it still retains 52% of its original value from new. Now, the beauty with these cars is they're loaded and chock full of technology, luxury amenities. They have almost every option, luxury feature you could ask for in a mid-size luxury sedan. A very, very safe bet to buy in these unknown times. So the next car on my list, for those times that are insecure and people just want good value and dependability out of their luxury car, would be the Lexus IS350, as found right here. Now this one here is all-wheel drive. These come at a base MSRP of about $42,180, and we have a 300 here. Regardless, the IS series is a very dependable, safe bet. Now the 350 comes with a 3.5 liter V6 engine that makes about 311 horsepower. It also has an eight speed automatic transmission, so it's a beautiful thing. It's always in the right gear and gives you maximum fuel economy. The general depreciation rate is very, very low in these two. After three years, these cars are expected to still retain about 53% of their original value in three years. Not a bad depreciation rate considering for a luxury car. And on top of that, in these times of insecurity and the marketplace is unstable and people are just worried about their jobs and basic essentials, how can you go wrong with these sort of luxury cars like the IS series that keep you in the black and will likely never test your reliability concerns? Great choice. So my next choice is actually the Porsche 911. Some might consider it a sports car, and it is, but it's also equally a luxury car because it's full of all of the luxury amenities. So we'll include it on our list. Honestly, the 911 is truly one of the best buys for sports luxury cars. They hold some phenomenal value, but let's take a look. See right here, what we have is a 991 turbo, and then we have a Carrera S. Minimize the depreciation, you don't buy the turbo. The turbo is a giveaway. It's got the big wing on the back. It's got the intakes on the side. Turbos, I love them for speed and all of that. However, if you're worried first and foremost by buying a luxury car and not losing your shirt, you're better off getting something that's more entry level. The 911 Carreras and Carrera S's. Because they come out, they're just over 100 grand. When it's time to sell them, if they're a good model, like the 991s generally are showing to be, they will hold their value and you won't lose your shirt. Stay away from convertibles. Stick with the coupes, stay with the 911s, for example, like what we have here. Stick with what you know. What we have here is a 911 Carrera S. Stay with these kind of cars. These are expensive and they depreciate quite 
aggressively. I mean, if you're not worried about depreciation, that is the car of choice. There's no question. The Turbo and Turbo S are awesome machines. However, because a 2020 is a little bit unknown, I would recommend just stick with what you know. Go with a coupe, go with a base Carrera or a Carrera S. So this is not brand new, but let's look at a new one. Thomas, this is your car, the Carrera S. You can't go too wrong with this. Absolutely beautiful car. So this one here is a brand new 2020 Porsche 911. It's a shout out to Thomas. He's actually been looking at 911s. This is the car you wanna get. This is a Porsche 992 Carrera S. Beautiful car, huge power. These have the three liter turbocharged engine that actually make about 443 horsepower. Really, really great numbers. These cars are really fast, a lot of fun. And honestly, because it is a Carrera or Carrera S, they're gonna maximize their value on resale. That's why I would recommend these. Don't go for the later models. As we get further down this world of catastrophe, you're, you're going to see turbos and cabriolets. I would say stay away from the turbos and cabs if you're worried about depreciation. Stick with the mainstream, the base models, the Carreras, Carrera S, the Carrera 4S. Those are the cars you really wanna focus in on. Skip the convertibles because these are the cars that will maximize your profits. And they are actually kind of reliable too. And the next car on my list actually is a Genesis. That's right, here we have a Genesis G80. Absolutely stunning car. Actually, for a Hyundai brand or an extension of what is known as Hyundai currently today, this Korean car is really an upscale version. Now, really, these cars are known to be one of the most reliable cars on the market today. And it often is found on many lists to compete with the Lexuses, the Toyotas, all of those brands that are typically at the top of the list. These G80s are beautiful. They've got a 3.3 liter turbocharged six cylinder engine tucked underneath the hood. Makes about 370 horsepower. And all of that mated to an eight speed automatic transmission tucked away in there. What does all this glorious luxury car go for? Well, brand new, you can get this car for about $42,000. $500. And even if these cars are known to depreciate, the beauty with them is the fact that they don't cost a whole lot of money to begin with. And honestly, because of its simplicity, because of its general reliability, highly recommended in times of uncertainty like we have currently in 2020. So thanks a lot everybody for sticking around. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the subscribe and the notifications bell down there. Tick, tick as well don't forget to click on this video you're probably going to want to learn about the five worst buys in 2020 for luxury cars hope to see you guys real soon catch you then bye bye